Baylor, be embarrassed. Your schedule sucks. But then again, what's new? Mark Rogers, TV, the voice of college football, breaking down the game we love for you, the hardcore knowledgeable, smart fan. And if you're not a knowledgeable, smart fan, you've arrived at the right place. We will coach you up. We will educate you on college football. And we do so this offseason by presenting a number of different series, including this one near and dear to my heart, schedule rankings. You can help build the channel by grabbing the Amazon link in the description section below. Grab it, use it, and do your Amazon shopping right there. You don't have to buy the product. It doesn't cost you an extra penny. It helps build the channel. Thank you so much. Join us on Patreon. We are going to have exclusive live streams, live chats, and viewer comment reaction from me where I compliment, I blow up, I challenge People challenge me. It's a good time over on Patreon. That coming up very soon, so please subscribe there. I'm ranking the schedules 1 to 70, or 70 all the way up to number 1 in the Power 5. I've arrived at schedule number 62. So it's not the most, it's not the easiest schedule in the Power 5, but it's the easiest conference schedule, or it's the easiest non-conference schedule, and this is typical out of Baylor. Baylor should be embarrassed. Is it really worth winning more non-conference games going undefeated in the non-conference schedule against the likes of Stephen F. Austin, Texas San Antonio, and Rice than to play somebody decent? Wouldn't a Baylor-Nebraska game be interesting? Baylor-Iowa, Baylor-somebody regional, somebody out of the uh, Baylor-Texas A&M, Baylor-Colorado, Baylor, Utah, Baylor, Houston, even a better group of five, play a group of five that's better. Houston, Memphis, Baylor and Memphis. That's a great matchup. Baylor, it's embarrassing. This is embarrassing, and this gets me worked up because this is what's wrong with college football. One out of many things wrong with college football. The product on the field is amazing. That's why I love it. That's why you love it. But the politics and the structure of the game is broken. It sucks. It's flawed. And it needs to be fixed. And we've attempted here to fix it. We actually have theoretically fixed it. We fixed all the problems in terms of scheduling and playoffs. Just uh, nobody is listening to us. Nobody out there with any power. So... That's why we build the channel as well. We get more viewers and uh, we cause a ruckus and get things changed. All right. Off the soapbox, talking Baylor football. So you got the Big 12 schedule. So the Big 12, thank you very much for making my job easier because everybody plays everybody in the conference. So all I have to do in terms of looking at just the conference schedule in the Big 12, it's the easiest to, to rank because basically I just say everybody's got the same exact schedule, excluding one point. You don't play yourself. So Kansas has the most difficult schedule since they don't have get to play themselves. They've got to play everybody else. And then Oklahoma, uh, if they're again projected to be the best team in the Big 12, then they've got the easiest conference schedule because they don't have to play themselves, but they've got to play everybody else and they get to play Kansas. Uh, So it's generally that close to being the same schedule out of all the Big 12 teams. So it comes down to who do you play out of conference? Well, Baylor obviously is the worst schedule in the Big 12. Stephen F. Austin to open the season August 31st, uh, an FCS school. Then they play one of the Five worst ranked teams going into 2019 in FBS football, Texas San Antonio at home. Then they they need they need the bye week. Give us the bye. We need to game plan, rest up, get healthy for that trip to Rice on September 21st. One of the five worst teams in FBS last year. All right, the conference is is good. It's uh, the Big 12 is. Uh, the third, fourth, or fifth best conference, uh, I ranked them the third best conference, yes, in Power 5 football last year. Iowa State, Kansas State, Texas Tech, at Oklahoma State. That's the first uh, four games in the Big 12 before an open date. So that's your October schedule, basically. Iowa State, Kansas State on the road, Texas Tech, at Oklahoma State. So all teams that Baylor could beat, all teams that could beat Baylor, they'll probably go 2-2. Two and two. Then after the open date on October 26th, they've got a rough, rough stretch. 
West Virginia at home, although the Mountaineers should not be quite as good as they were last year when they were, for the most part, one of the 10 or 15 best teams in the country. I don't care what they were ranked at the end because they didn't have Will Greer and uh, the left tackle and the receivers in the Syracuse Bowl game, and they lost to Oklahoma by three points. And, yeah, they lost two games late, but West Virginia was really good. They won't be as good this year. Baylor, West Virginia, that game in Waco. Baylor goes to TCU on November 9th. Oklahoma and Texas back-to-back at Kansas to close out the season. So the record could look pretty good with the three cream puffs and then the lighter portion of the conference schedule early. Let's say they split those and they're two and two plus the three wins in non-conference. They're five and two, but then West Virginia, TCU, Oklahoma, Texas. Uh, So right now, Baylor, after the uh, Vanderbilt win in the bowl game, an exciting, exciting game, one of my favorite uh, bowl games from last season, Baylor, Last season, I believe, finished at 7-6. and six. Uh, They lost the non-conference game to Duke, so they were 4-5 and five in the Big 12. So this season, we've got Baylor at 6-6, six and six, so they get to postseason play again. 6-6, six and 3-6 six, and six in the Big 12, and of course, they get helped out to postseason play by the three cream puffs that they play. Cupcakes, if you will, outside the Big 12. It's the 62nd ranked schedule in the country. It's the very worst in the Big 12, easily. It belongs to the Baylor Bears, who, again, should be embarrassed beyond belief. Schedule some teams. I know you have in the future some decent teams, and uh, we'll start to rank the uh, Baylor Bears schedule a little bit better. Right here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football, please like, comment, subscribe, and share the videos out there in social media with your family and friends as well. And bring it right back here for team number 61, in the Power Five. We'll be back.